Hi guys, how are you? I'm Debbie Campos and um, I'm out here in this beautiful park with a lawn mower right behind there. So I apologize if you guys hear it, but it's the only way I could film. So. about how and I realized there are a, a few other videos um, online about how to do this but I wanted to show you guys how I did so if for whoever owns a night core either 20 or 25 it comes with a big strap uh, elastic strap head strap that makes it very heavy um, actually if you get it out of the box and you wait, it's almost two ounces, the entire thing, the, the, the lamp and the head strap. So I decided to make a lighter strap, which a lot of people know this already, but I decided to make my own. And I wanted to share how I did it because it is very firm, very sturdy and See how it goes? Alright, so I'm going to show you guys. So let me show you. There you go. Alright, this is a very lightweight lamp, but unfortunately the head strap is heavy. Especially if you're trying to look the uh, look out for the weight uh, on your, uh, your base weight for your uh, backpacking pack. So, alright, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Let's get started. So here we are. Um, first, you're gonna need your night core, and you're gonna need to remove the bungee. The I'm sorry, the elastic headlamp, uh, elastic head um, band. So it's easy. You just remove it from this side right here. Um, okay, here it is. And then you're gonna need a one sixteenth. I will put the measurements in the description and in the video. So one sixteenth millimeter. Um, shock cord or bungee cord however they call it you can find it on Amazon that's the easiest place to find so this is it it's very thin actually but don't worry it will be actually very firm some people do it with a little thicker one I'll just say right now that 1 8 millimeters it's too big so it has and this one would be the minimum less than this would be too thin so it has to be either the 116 millimeter, 116th millimeter, or the one, um, it's one above the 116th, but below the 18th millimeter. It, um, to be able to thread it to these holes right here. And then you're going to need a mini cord lock uh, stop, cord lock. Um, it's a mini. You see how tiny it is comparing to my nail? It's, it's a little one because this shock cord is thin. Alright, so let me start it. First you remove the night cord back. So don't forget the power always go underneath this protection here. And then you're gonna thread the bottom first. So you start from outside like this you start from outside and then just keep threading it I thread as much as I could so it's firm I think that's the trick so on the last one here you want your thread to come out this way, so I'm going to skip that last hole and just, yeah, because you want your thread to come out this way, so it holds on to the, to the whole structure. Alright, so you kind of also want to make it kind of equal, so see this part is shorter, I'm just going to pull, pull a little longer. 
Let's see now. A um, little bit more. Um, sometimes you have to let go of this part right here. There we go. Okay, so it is pretty even. A little. Now I probably went a little bit too far, but that's it. Now let's do the top. Same thing. I forgot to mention, before you start threading, you need to burn the edge so they don't fray. So you see how they both come out on the outside of the structure? So that way it'll hold firm on your head. Now, you can put the, actually let's work on this first. So now you wanna go about halfway here and just create a knot because that way it makes it more stable. So tie them both in a knot. Same thing on the other side, right about here. You want them to be both at about the same distance. Okay? Actually, this is how it goes, like that. And now, all these four bungees have to go inside this mini cord lock. Now, it is a little tricky, so I'm going to do two first, two, two of them at a time. These are the two, and if you see, there's very little, uh, there's not enough space to thread the other two. So, what I will do is just hold it, stretch it, and hold it open like this and then thread the other two if possible yeah it i did all right okay so now i just need to make the same height see the same distance from the cord lock now I'm just going to push the cord lock here all the way to the knots and make one last knot with all four, um, all four of them. So I want this to, to be pretty, um, as close as possible to the edge. So it's not too tight on my head. So, okay, so I forgot to give you the measurements. Let's take the measurements. For my head, the piece of shock cord that I cut was, oh God, that's not a good way to measure, but just to give you an idea. Uh, approximately 10... 10 inches times two so i think each thread each uh, bungee cord was about 21 inches counting with the knots so but that's for my head size so the way i figured it out is just before i even cut the bungee cords i actually stretched stretched it on my head and then cut the first one because i knew how tight i wanted it to be and then the second one i just based on the first one that I cut. You can always cut it longer and then you just adjust the size as you go. You know, when you come to this point right here, just you can just cut, cut the axis of bungee cord that you, if you cut too much. And now last, I'm gonna just go ahead and put back. Here we go. And this is it. And I'm going to show you now how light it gets, because this was two ounces. Um, OK, 
Okay, now it's exactly one ounce. Pretty cool. And now we got our ultralight headlamp. There you go. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. I hope you're having a great weekend. And I hope you're getting a chance to go outside. Today is pretty chilly here, so we won't have much more time before it starts getting cold again. All right. Bye. See you later.